Hey there, everyone. This is uh, Jeremy with East Coast EDH, and we're just going to do a little uh, chat about revised cards today. If this isn't your jam, it's not your gig, probably want to balance out now. Um, card we're going to start with, Wheel of Fortune, if you want one. Get one quick. Um, they're hovering around 250 300 for a while. Looking like this is going to be the next uh, big buyout uh, from revised, possibly. This card could soon see uh, four digits for a single copy of a revised um, card, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, same thing, uh, not price-wise, but Vesuv and Doppelgangers, Forks, uh, Copy Artifacts, Brain Geysers, uh, even Mana Vault. <clears throat> Who would have thought? Um, all these cards, you might want to... Uh, Keep an eye on if you want to get them to play with them. If you're in there for the nostalgia factor, um, I would do it sooner rather than later. Um, just as buyout card TCG collector craze of 2020 is carried over to 2021. And it's showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. Um, I just hit up my local game store today. Uh, picked up the last two dual lands I needed to complete my uh, set of 10. Not all in great shape, but I've got them. Um, want to try and get a copy of at least one of each uh, of those really big cards just before they do a swing again. I think the duels probably less likely to have a major swing just because they've been where they are for so long. Um, everyone should kind of have what they want of them at the moment. I don't think there's going to be a lot of buyouts on those. I don't think there's a lot of room for growth. For the uh, investors or the flippers who uh, just kind of buy this stuff and then look to make a little profit on it long term. Um, that's not really what I'm in for. I like the cards. I started playing Magic in 1994 when Revise was out. Um, sadly, I got out of the game right around uh, Mirian, Mirrodin and Darksteel. Jumped back in around Kamigawa. Um, played for a few years. Uh, just with friends. Nothing major. No... Uh, tournaments didn't really have you know modern or uh standard or anything like that uh 2016 or 17 i got into commander and started um playing again and started buying cards again and got back uh got it back in my blood um and i was lucky then um i picked up you know a couple wheel of fortunes for around a it was like a hundred bucks um i wish i got more i wish i thought of it same thing with the copy artifacts uh, when I was buying them, they were like $15, $20. Uh, this is two or three years ago. Uh, copy Artifact Now, um, price check me. You know, do it in the comments, let me know. I think they're around like $70. Bucks. Um, Fork still floating around $20. Vesuvian Dopp, maybe a little higher. Same thing with Vesuvian Doppelganger, you know, around $20. Bucks. Maybe a little higher now. Like I said, I haven't really price checked all this stuff. But if you are looking to get yourself any of these cards, now is the time to do it. Um... I guess I, I don't see an end in sight, and the unlimited stuff's pretty much all that's that's already been bought. The money, cheap money's been made on that. Um, the investors got it, and they're there. Uh, looks like revised is next, and even with the amount of revised cards that are out there, the amount of people buying is just might be greater than what's available in the market. So, just want to give you all a heads up if this is stuff you're interested in. Revised early Magic cards, you know. Even stuff you've been looking at, let's say you've been looking at a Library of Alexandria or Bizarre Baghdad or anything like that. Uh, if you have the capital to buy it now, do it. It probably will go up from where they are now, all these cards. It's just, uh, it's crazy out there. But yeah, enjoy your weekend, everyone. Stay safe. Stay happy. Crush it 2021. Until next time, this is Jeremy with East Coast EDH, signing off.